All right, here we are at the brake caliper. Uh, initially, to pull the brake pads out, there are two bolts here and here, and uh, it is a quarter inch 12 point, uh, there we are, quarter inch 12 point uh, head on the bolt there. Um, because I can't find my quarter inch 12 point head, we're gonna end up breaking these, uh, doing these out with a uh, box and wrench here. Um, so just break them all free. We're gonna pull each bolt out of here. And then at that point, the uh, calipers will be lo or the uh, brake pads will be loose inside the caliper, uh, just FYI, so they may fall out of there. Uh, they should stay in place, and then one at a time, we're going to recompress the calipers. Uh, I'll put the bolts out on time lapse, so you don't have to sit there the whole entire thing. All right. All right, here we are at the back side of the caliper. Um, basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a sharp uh, scraper. This is actually a glazing tool for a window, but uh, this is kind of a strong blade scraper. We're gonna put it in between the pad and the rotor, and we're gonna use that to push the pad back towards the frame of the caliper and compress the piston back in there. So I slide it back in there. Our light's gonna roll around on us. Right there, if you can see it, it slid back in there. I'm going to apply a little pressure to it. You can kind of hear it creaking. Little by little, the pad pushes back into the caliper. Now, we're going to take a long blade screwdriver, go around to the front here. You probably want to see that. All right. So, what we've done. We've recompressed the pad back in here, like I said, on each side with the scraper. Then we, uh, on that side, we took a longer screwdriver, pushed it in there, pushed it back that last little bit. And uh, only one bolt in the caliper right now, or only one bolt that's holding the uh, brake pads in right now. So what I'm going to do now is pull this bolt out, it's just loosely sitting in here, the front paddle flop out right there, like so, ta-da, and uh, now if you can see back in there, um, move the camera here a little bit, you see how both pistons, the front one, I'll get the little pointer here, the front one and the back one back here, they're both flush back in there, so you know they're compressed in all the way. So what we're going to do then, we're going to take one of the new pads, we're going to there's one of the new pads, there's one of the old pads. Gonna match it up, make sure we got the tabs in the right spot, make sure we got them the right size. And uh, we're gonna slide it on up in there. Slide back in the link there. And then slide up in with our fingertips. We're gonna put one bolt here in the front of it for starters, just to hold it in place. We don't want it to go all the way through because we don't want it to grab the back pad because the old back pad's still in there. And we're going to take the front pad bolt here and slide her back up on in there. Might have to uh, take a small screwdriver here and align the pad. Be careful not to damage the threads as you're doing that. You can push the bottom of the pad up right there. All right, we're on the back side of the caliper here. What we're gonna end up doing is, uh, we're not gonna be able to do this directly on camera because there's not enough room for the light, the camera, and my tools and hands in here. But um, I already compressed this back some, but we're going to, uh, same scenario, we're gonna take the uh, scraper in between the pad and rotor there. Let me get a pointer up in here. I'm gonna get a scraper right back in here and push against the pad and then I'll recompress the piston and the caliper back in. So, here we go. Alright, this is going to be the best angle I can do for everybody here. Um, what I'm going to do is take a screwdriver here in the top. Not that screwdriver. Take my long chain screwdriver. And right here. I'll take this in the top, grab the top of the pad. I'm going to pull forward. I may bend the screwdriver doing this. 
but whatever. And what I'm doing is I'm recompressing the piston back in there by pushing on the pad through the top a little vent. Of course, you note know, these bolts are backed out, uh, so there's no bolts actually going through the pad. Now that they're compressed in there, I'm going to take a screwdriver here, I'm going to push it down. When I do that, it should fall down at the bottom, now the back, so like that. As you can see, these pads weren't even that worn, but uh, hey, you know, new material to teach videos. So, putting new pads on my bike. Got the uh, new pad here, same orientation. And try and uh, slide it all the way in the back here. Hopefully the bike doesn't rock too far on me. Now it is a tight fit, though it is sliding in, or it was. There it goes. So it's sliding in from the back. And once again, we're going to take a screwdriver from the back side here, push it up in, push it from the bottom up into place, like so. You can't see it, but when you get in there on your own bike, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, here we are. Got the uh, bolts ran in all the way there. Uh, so we're going to take the uh, wrench. I don't have the socket here because Amazon Prime didn't get me one soon enough, and I can't find my quarter-inch 12-point. Uh, so we're just going to tighten them down with the box wrench here. Uh, I'm going to snug that one up. i snug that one up. And we're going to take it and tighten the shit out of that with our hand, which I believe is manufacturer's specifications of tightening the shit out of it. I mean, you don't want to strip them out, but it's your brakes. I want to make sure these suckers are in there. If you're concerned, you can actually take them, what's called torque striping them. What you do is take a little uh, white dot or black magic marker and put a little mark there, straight up in the air, and maybe match it with the dot on the uh, that you put on the caliper. Uh, it'd be nice to sell a little dot, but you'll be able to check at a glance and um, see if your um, see if your bolts are backing out or anything. And uh, you should hopefully know you know know something's up before something catastrophic happens. Um. That's pretty all, pretty much all I got there. Uh, if you like what you see, check out, click the uh, link below and subscribe to my channel. Uh, check it out on I have other other videos, other blog entries on my website www.noblemoto.com. That's K N O B L E dot com. And uh, yeah, uh, or come take class for me up at Skidmark Garage here in Cleveland, Ohio. That's all I got. Ride fast, take chances.